The program uh, developed 40 years ago now. When the school first started, they wanted to kind of make a a statement about what the school was about, what our founding fathers did, things of that nature. And uh, my mother actually was asked to write a program that reflected this, this trail of liberty that uh, led to the foundation of America. And that program kind of started as a statement of what American Heritage School was about and what they wanted the students to learn at the school. I think the best part um, was seeing the students learn who their characters were and uh, find out who these people were. We'd been talking about them all year. Um, and to then portray them and have them come to life and to really feel of the mission of, uh, of this continent, of this country, um, and to be able to uh, portray that on stage through music and through acting. And uh, I think it really solidified in their hearts that these were amazing men and women. My students have the parts of the Founding Fathers and Founding Mothers, and so we, we talk a lot about these people, and some of them have actually, they put themselves, they see themselves as that person. It's like they've connected to, because they're so dressed up, they're so, they learn the parts, and then they become, in a way, some of those people. The overall message of the program is a story of how throughout eternity people have striven and fought to hold on to the, our God-given liberties, our rights and freedoms. Starting in the pre-mortal life, even the war in heaven, when we had to make that first choice, when we do come to earth, what are we here for? We're here for agency. That agency allows us. We need freedom, we need liberty in order to have free agency. Um, some of the things that they've written about as we talked about the Constitution, or we've talked about the, um, I asked them the question about what these people did to be able to do what they did. And they, some of them, quite a few of them mentioned that it was because it was instilled in their heart. It was like they, they seemed to understand because of having gone through this, that it was not an easy thing, but it was because they felt so strong that they, were able to do it. And so I think just having, that's a hard thing to teach. You can talk about it, but until you've actually had some experience, you don't really, you don't get it. I will remember watching my students come in as fourth graders, basically, you know, just barely having graduated from fourth grade, and watching them grow and mature throughout the, the year to where they can, they could understand these concepts and really study um, the history of, of the United States and have an appreciation for that. So watching them progress and into these mature, um, more mature <laughs> thinking students uh, was, a, was a pretty neat experience for me. And just watching how proud they were that they had accomplished it and um, that they felt successful and knowing that that will stay with them the rest of their life. That, the Spirit really sealed that on their hearts as they participated and, you know, sang and said their parts. Um, that that's something they will never forget. The portion of the program that is meaningful and important uh, to me, what I see in the audience, and maybe those portions of the program where the audience isn't as familiar with the story. Uh, one of the stories that I like, uh, of course, is, is the Magna Carta. It's, it's one of the scenes that my class performs. But you ask many people out on the street about the Magna Carta, they have absolutely no idea what the document was or its importance in our individual liberties. It's a time when a group of people, at peril of their lives, took on the most powerful man in the country, the king, and demanded certain rights and freedoms. And from that point, other individuals were able to build upon the, that incident, the Magna Carta, forcing King John to sign and give away the rights of the king to the people and was able to build. That was kind of the first uh, chink in the armor of a king being the absolute authority in the world with no recourse for justice or liberty. So the Magna Carta is important to me because I think the audience hears something that they may not be as familiar with. 
I don't think they will ever forget the Founding Fathers. Um, I don't think they will ever forget Christopher Columbus. Um, when they were on stage and watching their fellow fifth graders perform, there was just such a spirit that goes with the program and the music and you know the costumes. I just think it really solidifies. These were real people. There's a real plan um, that Heavenly Father is in charge and look at how it's been directed from way back when. And I think it will affect them in the future as they find their role in life and they'll always look back on the foundations of our, uh, of our government and how it, how it became and hopefully remember that no matter what happens in the world. Um, no matter where things go, they'll remember why, why it was preserved, why we had um, you know, the Constitution and those things and hopefully be able to defend it in the future and uh, really feel the heart and purpose of, of all of that. Um, my earliest memories of the Patriotic Program when I was a student, the entire school participated each year, and we held it in late spring, early May. And I remember um, a flurry of excitement would sweep through the school as we prepared to get ready for the patriotic program. I remember the costumes being brought out and walking down and looking at the costumes lined up on the, clo on the rack, hanging there together and touching them and picturing what it would be like to be one of the ladies in waiting for Christopher Columbus. Um, for Queen Isabella, for the Christopher Columbus scene, or picturing what it would be like to be Stephen Langton and to wear his, his robes. And I remember the students being so excited for the opportunity that we had to participate in it. And every year the entire school participated, so we would hear the parts over and over and over again in the rehearsals. The school, when we first uh, started doing the program back in the 1970s, the entire school was involved in, in, uh, in the production. Uh, kindergarten would do certain things and then on up through the grade levels. Uh, but as the student body grew and the school grew, as an outgrowth of that, uh, we had so many students that we couldn't have everyone with a speaking role class by class. So it was decided that the fifth grade had enough students that they could actually perform the speaking parts in the program. And so the fifth grade had that responsibility. And also the fifth grade is a class where I think we really introduce American history and where these freedoms came from and how our founding fathers were able to take these freedoms, this, this gleaming white silver line to mention the program, and really put it into a practical document that could govern our nation for successfully for nearly 250 years now. I participated in it with many of my siblings and at home we would practice saying together the different parts. I still remember sitting around our kitchen table saying, I am Stephen Langton. <laughs> or, uh, part of the letter from Christopher Columbus. Some called me foolish, mocked me, and laughed. But who can doubt but that the Holy Ghost inspired me? Those words, because we heard them over and over, year after year, sunk into our hearts. And I remember singing together our school song and gathering together in the program, singing Children of Liberty each year, and how that penetrated our hearts. We were doing a, the word search on courage during that time and some of their thoughts that came out about it doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. It just means that you have faith and you can go through with it. And I think some of those, they, when they wrote their own definition of courage, I think some of their words came from their experience, um, that that was what they found, that even though they were afraid and they did have to do something in front of a lot of people, they found out that they could do it and that they felt really good. In fact, when they got done, they were like, can we do it again? Even after all the work that it took, they were wanting, they were sad that it was over. They wanted to keep doing it and again and again because it was such a fulfilling experience. So, um, yeah, I think it's definitely a great. I think it's blessed my life because hearing those lines over and over again taught me that God was aware of our country, that He preserved, that He preserved our country. It taught me that there are great men and women who have sacrificed many things so that I could have the freedoms that I have enjoyed today. It gave me examples of amazing heroes from Christopher Columbus to William Tyndall to George Washington to uh, Abigail Adams. 
people who overcame many, many hardships and sacrificed for me and sacrificed for my children so that we could enjoy the freedoms we have on the, in our country today. I had one student that um, said that he just couldn't do it and he, I let him sit up on the stage with them and not have a part and then one morning I woke up and I said he needs to have at least a name and so I came up with a name for him of a founding father and it was like it was a part that wasn't in the program and it was like the week before the program and I says he needs to we need to have that part in there and so they, it was added his one line was added and he did that one line it wasn't a long part but he did that one line and I guess for me that was a, a big um, success that somebody that said that they couldn't even sit up there um, got up and said and, and partly part and that part I think is going to continue being in the program because it needed to be there but it needed it waited for him to be here before we added it because um, he needed to do that part and so I think for me that's the thing that matters the most to me is seeing how they grow and the things that the spirit interacts with them in the production. It's like they, each one of them has a little part that they need to fulfill and until they're here, each of these children, until they're here, that part isn't realized. And what I remember is that we, we just enjoyed it. We enjoyed reminiscing. Even, we, even we'll still do it now. We'll sit together and reminisce and quote those different people. And I remember that it, that it, it was an example to us of people who, who rose above their circumstances, who, strove to be, who were striving to be better, striving to contribute. And so saying those things together gave us a feeling of, of courage. Um, it gave us a feeling of looking at heroes that, that we wanted to um, that we wanted to be like in our own lives.